this whole idea that it's a transition, I think, is is ridiculous because the people that I think that become, uh, you know, try Sufism and become ex-Muslim, they they were just exploring because they're looking for the truth, and they realize as soon as they, you know, as soon as they try with it a little bit, they are like, okay, this is also bad shit, crazy. It was they were they weren't transitioning it; they, ju- they were just investigating. In fact, Sufism, I think, it's a huge problem because it's a trap. It's a trap for people that are not looking for the truth. But they're just looking. But they're just uncomfortable with the bad teachings of Islam. But instead of looking at things for looking for evidence, they're just trying to land somewhere that is more comfortable for them without having to think about it. And Sufism just provides that trap for them to stay yeah. there instead of actually leaving Islam. I, I think you're right. I think people who are already on that path to something that is more reasoned, Sufism is like the last thing that they. They spend some time in before they reject it too. Maybe right. I agree Hassan. and I disagree. Okay, good. Okay, I, good. Uh, um, I I agree that um, a lot of the people who turn to Sufism are not really interested in 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 Sufism as such. They they're interested in in the apologetics that it provides. Hmm. That um, it means that they don't have to take things so literally. It it it, it gives them a, a way of batting away. A lot of the difficult questions of Islam, which they are faced, but I think it's unfair um, to put all of Sufism into one box. I think there are many, many forms of of Sufism, just as uh, there are many Islams. Right. I don't think there. I don't think you know there is one single homogenous entity called Sufism or one homogenous entity called Islam. There are there are many different practices and. They are sincerely believed by a lot of people. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.